Hey y'all, I just want to do a quick random video. Sorry, it's kind of dark in here, but I just had a couple of thoughts. Um, I just wanted to say that it's funny how people dog you for certain decisions without realizing that they could potentially make the same decision. And particularly talking about relationships, like people dog you for, you know, people get dogged for all kind of reasons. People get dogged for being gay, people get dogged for being bisexual, people get uh, dogged for being trans, people get dogged for um, wanting to be polyamorous, people get dogged for all kinds of things. And they don't realize that everybody's going through something, everybody's going through things that possibly have made them the way they are. You can't look at somebody and say, well, it's your fault for being gay. You shouldn't be in that lifestyle and that's why your life's going all crazy and that's why you can't find a man, you can't find this, you can't find that. And you never, you'll never find love. You know, that type of thing. You cannot dog people over that because their sexual preference isn't their choice. Majority of the time, people's sexual preferences are not their choice. You don't choose your sexual preferences. For the most part, most people don't choose it. It's not a choice. It just happens to you. There are things that happen to you that make you the way you are. You should know that already if you're, if you're grown enough to be on my channel. You should know that already. Like, it's not rocket science. So, things make you the way you are, and things that happen in your life make you come up to the conclusions that you've come up with, or they make you kind of sway a certain way that people are kind of against. But if people are against you for being a certain way, then just ignore them. Because they don't know why you are the way you are, they don't know what made you the way you are. They don't know why you want to be poly. They don't know why you're gay. They don't know why you became trans. They don't know what made you like sex the way you like sex. They don't know what made you have certain fetishes. They don't know what made you have certain kinks. They don't know what made you like a certain sex position over another. They don't know what made you a damn pillow princess. They don't know what made you anything. You don't know other people's experiences. You don't know what made that person do what they do. You can't bash them for being how they are. You can't criticize because, again, you could possibly be in the same situation. Or you could have been in the same situation. There are a lot of people out here who are raped, you know, molested, beaten down. You know, they've been in, like, domestic abuse relationships. All that stuff plays a part in how you end up. It all plays a part in your sexuality as well. Because sexuality is a big part of everyone's life. How your parents treated you it also comes out in your sexuality. All, all of that comes out in some form or fashion. I've said that before, and it does. It's true. That's just how it is, and it's mostly unfortunate. Most most people are having sexual confusion issues because of what's going on. Most people have issues that they can't help. So just be mindful of that when you're talking to people or you're criticizing others for how their lives are going and how their breakups happen and how their any, how anything happens. Be mindful of what you say to people because you don't know why they're in that position. You don't know why they're with that with said person who dogged them. You don't know why they're doing a damn thing. Unless you know, know, know that person, you don't have a right to say anything. You just don't. So, watch your tone and be nice. It doesn't cost a dime. So just be nice. Peace out. Oh, hi, 
little kitty. He was hissing at me at first. He had no more. He looks like a nice kitty. Poor little cat, like he's skinny. Probably hungry. Wish I had some food to give him. Not on me, I didn't bring any out here. Hi, kitty. And shaking, I had coffee this morning, so I'm all jittery and stuff. Can't even hold the phone right. Hi. <laughs> bye bye, kitty. I gotta go back to walk now. Stay safe, little one.